Attention, please. There was someone who complained that it was difficult to concentrate in the video because I explained it with a strange voice in the video, so I deeply reflected on myself. Therefore, we will add Korean subtitles to the body of the video to increase understanding and concentration of Korean subscribers. I would appreciate it if Korean subscribers could just focus on the video while the volume is off. Voice descriptions are replaced by English. This is a V boot vertical position with a wide route clearance. Total 1, 2, 3 pass with thick weld bead welding. Would it be better to finish with this? Or is it better to make it thin while increasing the number of times? There are pros and cons. That's your choice. And tap introduces you to omitting. Route pass for start welding is important. Do not poke the end of the welding wire with backing ceramic. It is recommended that the start weld bead on the floor is slightly wider than the vertical weld bead because it has a good connection with the second weld bead. Look at the arrow, checking how high the weld metal is being filled. Check the corner on the left and right for penetration and penetration. Occur and after seeing this, the voltage value and the thickness of the bead determines the speed of the weaving. Is the penetration going well? Vertical welding usually passes through UD check. Thickening the weld bead can cause defects. Control the thickness of the weld and the speed of the weld according to the current dot voltage setting. Is the boundary between slag and weld metal clearly distinguishable? Look at the weld metal. Are you doing a straight line weaving? Is there a weld metal or slab that tilts down? The depth of the bead on the left and right are different. Did you check the rise of the weld metal? The depth of the left and right sides are definitely different. It's proof that you didn't check it during welding. A thick well bead. The slab that occurs at this time is also thick.
The left side is filled more than the right side. Since the weld metal is almost full, welding should be done by lowering the current voltage value. But I didn't lower it here, so it became a thick weld bead. The weld bead is being applied thickly. No matter how fast I try to control it, lack of ability. My eyesight must be bad. If you have poor eyesight, get your glasses right. What do you think? It's thick at a glance, right? The unnecessary thickness of the bead is deformation and waste of resources. When the welding bead just below is almost full, we need to lower the electricity and go up. It's an example of welders making mistakes often. The fact that the final bead was piled up that much despite the hurry to weaving was that the wire had a lot of melting, and the electricity used by the final bead was strong. The previous weld bead state is too thick, so you have to lower the electricity. It's best to fill it with a flat bead that's neither concave nor convex, leaving 2 or 3 millimeters to the left and right. What do you think? From the side, the surface bead is too thick, right? What's important here is that depending on the condition immediately before the final well bead, the electrical value of the final well bead changes. The thickness and shape of the final bead vary depending on the electrical value. There is another important thing. When weaving, if slag and weld metal follow straight and straight, a pretty and cute weld bead will be made. Thank you very much for watching. Ada Welding continues as a professional welding channel.